Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is not a tarot. Tar on a quick read for you, we're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread. At the end, we're going to do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, if any card repeats, I'll point that out in case there's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case there's confirmation for somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. I did a pre-shuffle, and it looks like a lot of you all are dealing with, um, well, I did it with um, the Transient Light Tarot, and then I did it with my own Secret Oracle Tarot. I also pulled a few Oracle cards. I got uh, Build on Solid Ground, Nurture Yourself, Choose Peace. I got Vision Quest. Um, time for Beginner Mind. Um, inner Conflict, I want to point out to that. Um, you may be finding yourself dealing with some inner conflict, having to choose, make hard decisions um, very quickly. Um, people might try to question your motives and your tactics and whatnot. Um, so and if, that may have already happened. I don't know. Um, there's also in this, now with this, this particular spread, there shows uh, possibly two feminine energies, two of like a fe you know female-female relationship um, committing to one another, but the road is not going to be even. <laughs> it's not going to be without its bumps. <laughs> and you're going to have to have um, self-discipline <laughs> to deal with conflict. Um, in my deck um you have three masculines and a feminine um and it there's the the king of swords the king of pentacles and the king of cups um and the queen of cups um and there's also the the hierophant there too so there's committing and it looks like a feminine a very emotional feminine energy is going to be stressing out over whether or not to to do a redo with a um, masculine energy that, that's very earthy so it could be taurus virgo capricorn i don't know um so there's that so you know here's you focusing on just like it's reminding you to stay humble that's once i forgot almost forgot to tell you that it's reminding you um even though you may be doing well financially you could be um not all virgos are but um a lot of virgos are doing well they're stable so you're either in the camp of you know struggling or doing very well it seems like there's no in between for those of you who are doing well it's reminding you to stay humble so Let's move this up, and I'm going to actually pull a um, Angel of Abundance card for your for your financial part. So we'll do that, and we're going to use what deck for your money? Let's see what's going on with your money. Um, we're going to use the Everyday Tarot, so that is this tiny deck here. And I'm going to show you the decks in case you want to purchase one for yourself or for somebody else as a, a gift or whatever. All right, so we get on the bottom um high priestess okay so you're being very quiet which is kind of typical of virgo right um you're not telling people what you're up to is financial you're not letting them know the real deal of your finances whether it's good or bad um you're not letting people know what's going on you're just kind of keeping it to yourself uh, with the high priestess on the bottom before we even get started and it is safe for you to receive so that is the um, Angel of Abundance card. It says the uh, the more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming into you and through you as it blesses the world. Okay, so that's good. All right, so it's reminding you to actually allow yourself to receive. Know you're worthy. Know that you um, deserve good things. All right, so... <laughs> so your financial situation are you ignoring somebody's trying to give you something and you're actually ignoring it Oof, that is not good um eight of pentacles you're working hard to make money um seven of cups you don't like the options um whether it be like jobs that are offered to you or like if, if for example you're trying to find a way to um invest money you don't you don't like the options they're not really paying off um, if it's just a matter of like trying to find some way to make money, you don't like the options out there, the types of jobs available. Um, and look at that. Okay, so possibly for some of you all, a relationship or marriage could be involved in increasing your money or changing your money situation in some way. Um, your money might be affected by um, a love thing or marriage. Um, but it looks like it's going to grow, so I like that. Um, maybe it's just due to hard work. I don't know. Um, you have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Empress here. So it could be just due to hard work on your part. Um, but you're somebody's trying to give you something and you're ignoring them. You're just kind of, you're like, no, nah, I don't like it. It's not, not what I want. And 
it's kind of um, repeated in the Seven of Cups, too. Um, King of Wands, you... I mean, people see you... I don't know if people see you as um, using your your charisma to get what you want. Um, you may be seen as good-looking or um, charismatic or, or something, or you could just be very confident, but somehow that people see that as kind of bring money to you. All right, so let's look at your career with the Wandering Star Tarot, this one. I'm trying to roll through these quickly so that we don't spend all day. Wow, okay, so what kind of unhealthy habit on the job, or is it just, you know, or are you a workaholic, and that is your unhealthy habit? Because look, this is you on the bottom of the deck for the career spread, the devil card. So is it... Being a workaholic, hi Snowy. Is it being a workaholic or some other unhealthy habit involved that it's affecting your job? What's going on? Snowy. I'm not, but I can't right now. <laughs> not right now, sweetie. Hang on a second. Eight of Pentacles again. So that's your card. You get the Virgo card um, twice. You also had the Eight of Wands in the um, in the pre-shuffle. And it start off with the Nine of Coins, which is a Virgo card. So Eight of Pentacles twice. You may be dealing with another Virgo. I did see up here when I saw the um, the pre-shuffle with the uh, the Proclaimer, which is supposed to be the hair font. And I said two feminine energies. It could be two female Virgos in a relationship together. So there's that. Um, for the rest of you, ooh, um, So you're work look at that. Okay, so that is interesting. <laughs> so I want you to so working could actually be causing some kind of situation which you causes chaos in some way in which you have to try to move on from drama to calmer waters cuz look it's right after this card and look what's happening. See how there's bees swarming around this person busy like a bee but look the bees I mean what happens sometimes bees sting you and you have to move on to you know away from the the sting or the the chaos the drama whatever um you get the king of wands again so that's three times now you got it in my card deck um the money and now this that is a uh, leo energy but i mean you're look at that so you're you're seen as charismatic on the job and you're you're seen as a leader um you have confidence authority okay honey i know um I don't know if you either work in the justice system or if there's a situation in which you feel like um, fairness has come into play. You'll know if that you know if that resonates. Uh, Ten of Cups is like whatever you're doing, you're focused on your ultimate happiness. Like it's your happily ever after as far as jobs go. Um, and some of you may be traveling or just dealing with foreign people or just um, I don't know. If it, a lot of times this is a card of the internet. But you could be just dealing with lots of different types of people. All right, so let's move this up and we'll do your general spread. I am rolling through this. Um, so we are going to use the Your Dream deck. Oh man, this is a huge deck. I have small hands and this is not an easy deck for me to shuffle. All right, so for the general portion, we're using this. Again, if there's any of this resonates, let me know. Um, well, Right now, you are in the public eye. You might be getting recognition or awards for something that you're doing, but you are in the public eye. You might be getting... I am not... Okay, I can tell you three of cups and the nine of swords. So some of you are stressing out over whether or not to reconcile with somebody. Somebody, someone out there is... Like, there's a lot... There's some Virgos out there that are doing that. All right, so forward movement, having control over things, Ace of Pentacles, money coming in, uh, Ten of Cups, or I'm sorry, nine, my bad, Nine of Cups, um, that's wish fulfillment and, and like your dream, like your dreams, your dreams, I can't even talk, man. Who, who, who out there am I reading for that has a hard time getting words out because <laughs> it's affecting me? <laughs> um, but yeah, you're... Your dream, your wish, your hopes. That's what the uh, Nine of Cups is. Hi, sweetie. And the King of Cups. So emotionally, you're focused on... Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, now Virgo. 
or is it just this? Okay, this might be the past. In the past, there may be a tendency to either you or someone you dealt with um, was emotionally immature. There was emotional immaturity. She really wants attention, doesn't she? Well, honey. Um, but it. It's just that kind of stuff. Hold that for one second. Here, take this, sweetie. I just fed you all, so I'm not trying to overfeed anybody. Because that's how pet. That's how. Yeah. See, speaking of which, <laughs> this is who got overfed and got diabetes. And he heard me give her food after I just fed them, and now he wants more. I, dude, you, you're not supposed to eat that. That has carbs in it. Um. So emotional maturity after a lack of emotional maturity in the past. So I don't know if it's you have emotionally matured or you have dealt with somebody um, that was emotionally immature and now they have matured. You'll know your situation. So um, I do want to get a couple of these. And then we're going to do the uh, Savage Messages, the Six Cards, Donna's Destiny, and then the All Signs. And then go on to um, the Smackdowns. I'm going to do three Smackdowns and a round of shorts, one for each sign. All right, so let's see. We're going to pick three of these. Mirror. Uh, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union, and then Sword and Rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force honor protection power that's a lot of stuff isn't it um so you might be dealing with somebody who you're marrying each other um it says transcending obstacles preparing for union that's um so, and then clarity i think clarity is something we should probably focus on um revelation a truth coming out okay so let's do your savage messages was that a hair i think i'm shedding over here all right, so you get, <laughs> it says, go ahead and keep watching my posts. Yes, I'm still happy, and yes, I'm still hot. Okay, so that may be, be feeling how you're, or how you're feeling. Like, go ahead and watch my post. Um, just because I treat you right doesn't mean I trust you. It's the good in me, or the God in me, not the slick in you. All right, and people say I act like I don't care. It's not an act. That's you saying that. And then it's okay if you don't like me. Not everyone has good taste. So that's something you might say to somebody. Um, the six cards, Donna's Destiny. I don't know. Do you like the Savage Messages? Let me know in the comments if you like the Savage Messages. Um, lots of love coming, Virgo. I like that. Lots of love coming. Addictions are affecting your relationship. So um, I don't know what kind of addictions. It doesn't say. Um, you'll know if that resonates. Um, oh, Jesus. Well, okay. So that might be a confirmation. And is it something that isn't as bad or is not as affecting? Um, so to whoever out there who owns um, an Apple product and had it repaired recently, it says, turn find my iPhone back on. So somebody out there needs to see that. I don't know who it is, but you'll know. It's you. Um, make them put in more effort. It came out sideways, so maybe somebody realizes that they weren't putting in more, enough effort. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> that's reversed. Okay, I don't even want to look at that one. That's kind of not nice. Um, an appliance breaks is in reverse, so that's a good one to have it in reverse. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries... Okay, so is this reviving the dead or, you know, getting back together with somebody? Or is it making a final decision on something for someone? All right, so Aries. Caesars are happily ever after and they're bitchy. Well, actually not bitchy. Um, they're just kind of chilly, but they're not necessarily bitchy. They're just kind of cold. This person isn't. They see, So the Aries Caesars are happily ever after, but they don't. They're not real like lovey-dovey about it. Kind of chilly. Um, Taurus is trying to be patient. Um, are they manipulating or are they just trying to... Yeah, they're indecisive. Um, Gemini, they want things to be equal, fair, and balanced. And they're feeling stuck right now. Cancer. Um, the Cancer, like, they're in the spotlight. They may like attention. They have a lot of passion for you. 
Um, Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, they may be blocking you. <sighs> I love my pets. Um, you get two sevens, so I don't know if that means luck is on your side and this or not, but uh, you know, usually two sevens is like luck. But um, they're defensive. They're defensive and kind of like not really not realistic when it comes to love. Um, if you're dealing with a fellow Virgo, if you're dealing with a fellow Virgo, a they're juggling you, and b they see they think that the two of you could have it all together. So they think that you two of you could have it all together, but they're still juggling. I I don't even know what to say about that. Um, if you're dealing with a Libra, they you make them very happy. Um, they may live at a distance or may want to come travel towards you. Um, Scorpio uh, wants to move on quickly. <laughs> move on to calmer waters uh sagittarius is going to reach out um they're confused they're, they may have irrational fears um they may have secrets but they're the you know the uh secrets are going to come to light there's going to be clarity capricorn sees you as a soulmate and they are um emotionally mature aquarius has a um a honest they're going to offer you love and it's honest but the, right now they're spying on you and pisces is kind of um you know what so if you're dealing with a Pisces who comes off as materialistic, it's because they have trust issues. They don't trust anybody. Um, maybe they've been burned financially. I don't know. Um, and this is a new start in love. So for some of you, it might be a commitment to marriage. All right. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.